the speaker, other speaker, Mr. Andy Irvan Sulfikar, Chris and Diplomacy. Our time is welcome. Saya ya, lanjut ke pembicara selanjutnya, Pak Andi Irfan Sulfikar uh, dengan tema kris dan diplomasi. Waktu kami persilahkan. Ya, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi taala wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi yes, wabarakatuh. Uh, honorable uh, guest uh, from various countries, also my fellow friends from Chris, uh, and all uh, host in here. Thank you very much for inviting me as uh, one of your speakers. So my name is Andy Irfan. I'm actually an Indonesian. I'm not a Malaysian, but I live in Malaysia for uh, almost 13 years now. And uh, during the last 13 years, I also uh, doing, I enjoying uh, research and uh, study of comparison between crises in Malaysia and also in Indonesia. So, uh, because uh, to me it's quite interesting, since Malaysian have a very long history of uh, relations with Indonesia, especially their ancestors. Uh, actually, some of them are, are from uh, Java, uh, Bugis, Banjar, uh, Sumatra, of course. Um, yeah, and uh, a lot of uh, them are now becoming Malaysian. And um, also about the history of Malaysia itself. Yeah. During the last 13 years, uh, I'm quite surprised because uh, the establishment of the uh, Malaysian government uh, during uh, the first era of Sultanate up to the government era, uh, there are a lot of interaction, especially between the uh, uh, Sumatran and also the Bugis from Sulawesi. So the connection is there. Even uh, the establishment of the Sultanate with the help of the uh, Bugis uh, warriors, yeah, uh, especially the five dying, uh, are very well known in Malaysia. Opu Daeng Cela, Opu Daeng Parani, Opu Daeng Kamboja, and so on. Uh, so, uh, yeah, I, I'm quite surprised actually during the last 13 years uh, staying in Malaysia uh, because uh, I... I believe uh, they also have a, a unique uh, or similar um, crisis like us in Indonesia. Yeah, uh, but we can see uh, each different state of Malaysia. It depends on the uh, depends on the uh, uh, depends on the uh, interference interference of the uh, of the uh, of the Sultan. Uh, like uh, uh, Negeri Sembilan. Yeah, it's uh, used to be uh, uh, colonized or uh, uh, got influence from uh, Minang. Yeah, uh, in, in uh, Negeri Sembilan State, you can see the Chris type is uh, almost the same like in Minang, like Chris uh, Alang, Chris Panjang, Chris Penyalang. So I have the example in here. So this is this type of uh, Chris is uh, exist in uh, Negeri Sembilan also with the Sari Bulan. Sari bulan, uh, sari bulan sheet, yeah, and also like uh, we call it in Indonesia, this one is um, Jawa Demam. Yeah, in Indonesia is Jawa Demam. So we have very similar actually culture of crisis uh, because uh, as I told you before, the uh, influence is basically from, uh, some of them are from Indonesia and some of them are also from Siamis or uh, Patani, Patani and Kelantan. So in the other state of uh, Malaysia, like in Kelantan, they have a uh, crisis exists there. Uh, they call it like uh, Chris Tajung. In here, uh, this is the example of Chris Tajung I have. Yeah, uh, with the Temanggung. This is a, an antique, antique Tajung Chris. Yeah. Uh, so in Kelantan, this type of crisis exists. Uh, it exists. Okay. And uh, in some part of the uh, Malaysian states, uh, Chris Bugis, yeah, this is Chris Bugis, this is Chris Bugis from Sulawesi actually, but the similar type of Chris, uh, especially the model, the style, the hulu, the hilt, yeah, the hilt, the sheath, are pretty similar to Malaysian. So you can see, you can see in uh, each state of Malaysia, yeah, uh, they have a uh, different type of uh, influences of crisis. 
Okay, because of the uh, uh, the topic is actually quite um, quite big, it's quite huge. But then I have to uh, squeeze it because of the time limitation also giving me like 10 minutes. Okay, so um, my part is uh, actually talking about Chris and its role in cultural diplomacy. As I told you before, uh, as I told you before that Malaya Sultanate actually consists of uh, previously 10 kingdoms. But uh, now Malacca uh, has already collapsed since uh, 16th century. The Malacca Sultanate already collapsed in 16th century. Now uh, exists only nine sultan. Uh, the first one is Negeri Sembilan, the Sultan Yang Dipertuan Besar. They call it the Sultan Yang Dipertuan Besar. Um, the type of Greece that exists that I told you before is pretty similar, like the one in uh, Mina, in Padang. Yeah, uh, they have uh, they have like uh, dua salibulan, and also with the Jawa Demam uh, type of field, and in uh, Perlis Sultanate and Perak Sultanate also have some influences uh, from Sulawesi, from Sulawesi, uh, and they have some uh, regalia there where they uh, admit that uh, the regalia are actually uh, one of the regalia from Sulawesi. Uh, and Selangor Sultanate also influenced by Bugis. The Pahang Sultanate also influenced by Bugis. The Terengganu also and the Kelantan is uh, up north of the uh, Malaysian state. Uh, they connect uh, very close to uh, Thailand, southern part of Thailand. Uh, their Chris type is like Tajung uh, and also uh, they call it Chris Tochu. Uh, but with uh, uh, the sheath is like uh, Bugis Chris uh, sheath, uh, where they have like this, we call it sampir in Malaysia. This uh, it's a type of wood, yeah. The style, the model is like type of wood. The Kelantan is, and uh, the Kedah they have also uh, uh, Chris exist there, and um, the. Uh, the development of Kedah Sultanate actually also uh, uh, involve with uh, Bugis warriors. Uh, Johor Sultanate, of course, the five dying uh, from Sulawesi who came to Riau and then they established the Johor uh, part of uh, Malaysia and the former Malacca uh, uh, Sultanate. Yeah. Okay, the ethnic groups in Malaysia consists of Siamis, Javanese, Malay, Sumatra, Aceh, Medan, Minang, Palembang, Jambi, Lampung, and etc. Bugines, Makassar, Banjar, Chinese, India, and etc. So yeah, uh, a lot of uh, combination in uh, ethnic groups in Malaysia. So this is type of trees uh, from Terengganu. Yeah, if you can see here, if uh, I think uh, and I believe uh, most of us, especially uh, fellow collectors, my friend also aware of this is like a spokal, keris spokal, very similar to Bugines spokal, yeah, with the sampir, with the sampir uh, style of uh, perahu, yeah, perahu boat, uh, and also uh, the materials itself is from kayu kemuning. We call it kayu kemuning, kayu kemuning. Okay, and the, the hilt you can see in here, uh, they call it uh, uh, ayam teleng yeah ayam teleng in malaysia they call it or in uh, pretty similar in sumatra is jawa demam yeah, and this is the chris tajung which i shown you before as i mentioned also earlier the, the regalia the chris regalia from the malay sultan this is the chris taming sari they call it chris taming sari yeah, uh, they believe this is also came from java from a person called named Taming Sari, who actually uh, uh, appointed by uh, the Majapahit uh, king uh, to fight against uh, Hang Tuah. And uh, this is also the Chris Gading and Chris Taming Sari. If you can see here below, this is uh, Chris Sari Gading, which they believe uh, this Chris also came from Sulawesi. Uh, bring uh, brought by uh, Opu Daing uh, Opu Daing Rilaka and uh, this Chris uh, Brook Brian is a Sultan Selangor Chris one of also the regalia of Selangor also from uh, uh, our uh, uh, province in Sumatra yeah. so this Chris regalia as I told you before 
the Perak Regalia previously belong to Okutan Liburang, a Bugis nobility from Sulawesi. Chris Tamingsari, Perak Regalia, previously belonged to Tamingsari Japanese Admiral during Kingdom of Majapahit era. And uh, Chris Panjang Brook Brayun, Selangor Regalia, previously belonged to Raja Berkat or Raja Mah Muhammad Saman, a Bugis nobility from Sulawesi. Uh, I think uh, the last one is uh, okay, Chris and its role in cultural diplomacy. Uh, as for uh, Malaysian, Greece represent courage of Malay people and unity. So that's the role in cultural diplomacy. And the first Prime Minister of Malaysia, uh, uh, in here we can see in the picture, they're pointing the Greece up to the sky. Yeah, It represents the, uh, uh, the victory and glory of the Malaysian. Uh, I think uh, that's it for my presentation, my short presentation. Uh, I encourage uh, my fellow friends from Indonesia or from around the world to uh, have questions with me, maybe during uh, answer uh, question and answer later on. And uh, I wish thank you very much for the host and uh, for all the guests and also for the participants for seeing my presentation. Thank you very much and Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi ta'ala wabarakatuh. Waalaikumsalam warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Pak Andi, terima kasih banyak. Yeah.